Now that our store is set up, let's post our first blog post. If you're not entirely sure what to actually write, you can check out our supplementary resources linked in the video description for guides and training on how to write content that is engaging and search engine friendly. As learning an art form like this is its own can of worms. Turning back to how to post your blog posts, this is probably where you'll spend most of your time in your Shopify store. As far as sharing your content with the world goes, it's just as simple as this. From the Shopify dashboard home, go to online store, then blog posts. Then click create blog post. The editor has all the creature comforts you would expect to see in any good text editor. You can save your progress and come back to it later by saving with the visibility of the post set to hidden, you can add feature images, and you can tweak how your post is shown in search engines. Once you're ready to publish your new post, make sure to set the visibility to visible and save. Your new post will now be visible on your homepage, so long as you added the blog section to it like we showed you in a previous video. We'll have a link to it in the video description. And there you have it. Your content is now available for everyone to see. Now that we have our site up and running, and we now know how to post content to it, you will need to go ahead and post at least 10 blog posts to your site before you create your Amazon Associates account. Amazon requires that you have a fully functioning site with content on it. You will need to provide details of it during the sign-up process, and they will definitely check to make sure that it's a real site during the application process. This is also a good time to purchase a domain name for your site, so you can get rid of the pesky Shopify branding in the current domain name of it. Your site is also going to be far more likely to get accepted by the Amazon Associates program if you have your own domain, and it's going to save you the hassle of telling Amazon later that your domain name has changed. You can purchase a domain following the guide in the video description. Once you're done, it's finally time to create your Amazon Associates account. See you there!